How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another mask review. Today, taking a look at the Venom Vehicle Vampire with driver Floyd Malloy. This came out in 1986, produced by Kenner. This vehicle is featured in season two and also carried over into the season three racing series. Floyd here also got a secondary vehicle that was introduced in the split second series. Unfortunately, we never got a cartoon to go with that toy line. Um, so that was unfortunate, but really nice looking vehicle set here. We'll take a look at Floyd really quickly. Again, it's a, what, two and a half to three inch scale figure um, line and very nicely detailed. Again, you have some really good paint, sculpt work. I do like the fact that you can see some nice detail in his face. Sometimes you, you, you don't get that with some of the other mask um, figures, but you can really see his snarl or his kind of sneer there. Articulation is six points of articulation. I'm not going to go over it too heavily here. It's just, it's in the neck, shoulder, hips, and in the knee. So his mask, let's stand right there, is buckshot. And hopefully everything's showing up all right. I'm using a new camera here. So um, nice looking mask. It is um, one of the few that is not a true helmeted mask, but it is true to what we see in the cartoon. All right, bring in Vampire here. Really cool looking touring bike. You got some nice chrome on each side and on the wheels, stickers, translucent windshield there and such. Um, doesn't roll very well depending on the surface you have it on. As you can see, this piece right here uh, doesn't give it enough clearance so the back tire can't actually function. But if you have on carpet and all that, but you do then run the risk of scraping this chrome up. So there's that. To transform it into its attack mode, push the black button on the back here. It's a spring activated mechanism. So push back the thrusters, pop up the tail fins, release the front end of the motorcycle. Then you just unfold the wings out and you have Vampire in its attack mode, which is a interesting looking flying vehicle, but true to what we saw on the show, except for the fact that in the cartoon, I believe it had twin cannons for the front. Other than that though, it does have a missile firing feature, but it's not spring loaded. It's just push on the back to launch the projectile. And it has two of these, which can be commonly missed picking this guy up on the secondary market. All right. And then see what he looks like on, on here. Now, unfortunately, the mass toys were not, at least the guys who had motorcycles, were not um, designed to be on motorcycles. So you had to kind of split their legs just a little bit. So you, over time, you're going to get some wear on these um, hip joints to the point that they could break or snap, whatever, but so keep that in mind because over time he's going to be bow-legged and that's true with Sly Rax or Vampire even for I guess you could say for Firecracker because it had a motorcycle on the back um, so, but that's what it looks like with it with him on the vehicle it's not a bad set, um, fairly inexpensive back in the day and I believe even today it's uh, one of those sets that you can get fairly cheap and um it's a good set um i did like the introduction of vampire along with um julio lopez's firefly and all that but that's it for vampire from the mask uh kenner line came out in 86 again thanks for watching i really do appreciate it if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe if you're not subscribed check out plastic fanatics right here on this channel 8 p.m eastern standard time and um, I will talk to everyone later. See ya.